So I have a bit of a problem here. Maybe you've dealt with this problem or considered this problem before, but I haven't seen anyone else talk about it. I got a thermometer here in my little seedling pot. Outside the greenhouse, it's a beautiful day, sunny, and temperatures right in the mid-70s range. But inside the greenhouse, you see it is 89 degrees. So you see that's almost a 15 degree difference between in the greenhouse and outside the greenhouse. Now that's not the problem. The dilemma is how hot the soil gets in the seedling pots when the direct sun is hitting them all day long. The seedling pots and trays are generally black. Of course you can get colored trays and those are considerably more expensive whenever I've looked at that option. Black absorbs the sunlight very completely and gets very hot. So here is my little thermometer and it's about an inch deep into the soil. You can see. Oh no, I got to push down two inches. So let's just keep it at two inches deep. That's basically to the bottom of the pot. It's a little over two inches deep. And I'm going to turn it on here and see what the temperature is in that soil. You see that? 112, even still going up in the bottom of the pot. The sunlight comes in. Whoa, don't look into the sun directly. Comes in through the plastic, of course. Through the plastic and hits the plastic, the black plastic of the seed tray. And heats it up and that heat gets trapped in there, the greenhouse effect double triple greenhouse effect and look now the, the very bottom of the pot is actually 114 degrees now if you come up to the top surface on the opposite corner i'll put this thermometer tip down in there and let that equilibrate for a few minutes and you can see the temperature is dropping very quickly down to 101 right now so let's see what it gets down to okay so it looks like it's stabilized pretty well at 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit and that's in the top one inch of the soil on the opposite corner so that's interesting it's almost a 10 degree difference practically a 10 degree difference between the top corner here and the bottom corner of the pot down here and even still this corner being the cool side is 100 degrees. That's pretty hot. So that's my dilemma. I'm always struggling with this dilemma. The seed pots and the soil in the seed pots always seems to get way too hot. My instinct tells me 114 for soil is not going to be conducive for root growth. If I put the thermometer in the soil outside right now, it's easily in the 70s. In the first very thin one inch or less layer, you just go probably a quarter of an inch down and it's in the 70s, which is ideal. And in the summertime, you know, when you mulch over it, you go down to that soil, it'll be 100 degree outside, and the soil will just be in the 80s, even low 80s, depending on how deep you go. And so it's a big difference. And so I'm always stressing about that because roots and everything get way too hot and so I think I have a bit of a solution for that. Alright so here it is nothing fancy super cheap and I think it'll work super well is playground sand because this playground sand is very light color I'm practically white reflects the Sun very effectively so that should keep the surface of those potting of those uh, seedling pots uh, much cooler so that's the basic idea. Like I said, though, I haven't tried this before, so this is a little experiment I'm going to do. Okay, so I got the sand here, and now I'm going to cover the trays. I'm going to cover one tray of pepper seedlings with the sand mulch and leave one tray uncovered without any of the sand mulch and see what the temperature difference is. I'm Sure, it'll make some temperature difference. The only question is how much of a temperature difference. And 
I went ahead and did half of this tray of tomato seedlings that seem to be struggling. Um, half with the sand and half without the sand to see if any difference develops between those two uh, sides. And I'm going to put uh, this tray completely covered over here. This tray of of uh, peppers completely covered with the sand except for the pots that don't have any peppers. And then the one next to it is going to have no sand. So that's the setup. Okay, that should give a pretty good test. These are both peppers. Started at the same time and you know everything the same for these two peppers. Virtually identical. Okay, so the only drawback to this that I can think of to doing this with the sand mulch is of course the time. It's pretty labor-intensive, tedious work. So that is expensive to do from that perspective. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to measure the temperature difference between the two sides because tomorrow's weather is about the same as today and that will give everything a chance to equilibrate with the sand and the soil and then I'll be able to measure it during the sunny part of the day tomorrow and see what the difference is pretty quickly. Alright, it's the next day. Alright, so my simple solution to this sand uh, application problem that makes it so tedious is, you know, putting it around each seedling and not damaging the seedling with the sand. Or the solution is to simply cover the seed tray with a thin layer of sand before putting the seed in there. So I'll just be direct sowing some Heinz canning tomatoes into this pot. I mean into this tray. And it's a cloudy day today so the temperatures may not be as extreme in the greenhouse and the seedling pots but I think we should still see a nice temperature difference. Okay so when this pot right here was in the full sun earlier today I had it all the way down this thermometer all the way down in the bottom of the pot and it was 115 and then I moved it over to this pot bottom corner and it was like 110 so five degree difference at the most I would say so let's check what it is right now all right so what I'm going to do real quick is measure the temperature at about an inch deep in several pots that are covered with sand and take an average and then I'm going to measure the same several pots in the other tray that's not covered with sand and take an average and see what the temperature difference is between the two. That would put a numerical value on this. Alright, so I put it an inch down, got to let the temperature equilibrate, then I'm going to write the number down in my notepad. Okay, so this first pot came in at 95 and a half degrees. This one's coming in at 96.4 degrees. It's interesting, this one is a little bit hotter for whatever reasons than the one in the corner right now. And I'm going to transfer it to this third pot over here. And this guy is actually dead. He looks like this seedling got killed by damping off. So that's a loss on that seedling. All right. Looks like this one is coming in at 97.3. And then I'm going to do these three back here. And just as I figured, this one is coming in considerably cooler. It's on the inside, not directly exposed to the sun on the outsides of the tray. And it's at 89.4. Move it to the next one over. Change it down. And that one should be even cooler because it doesn't have any outside. It's directly near the center of the tray, which has the least sun exposure. So it seems to be going even cooler. It's already down to 87.4. This is 87.6, and I guess I'll go ahead and do three more. Okay, I got these nine pots back here done. And now I'm going to do the nine pots covered with sand. The entire time I was doing these nine without the sand, it's been cloudy. The sun comes out, it'll start heating this up and could make a notable difference within a few minutes. So, Alright then, I got the results here. Numbers don't lie, right? So, 
the ones without the sand are right here and the row closest to the plastic the front row most exposed to the sunlight is the top here you can see three uh, across the top and the average for the no sand is 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit on this front row you know it's a cloudy day so it's much cooler than it was um, yesterday when it was complete sun and then you go to the next row down on that tray and it's 88.3 or 88.1 and so that's because it's not directly exposed to this to the sides where the sun is hitting it even though it's cloudy it still makes a difference and then you go down to the middlemost row and it's 86.4 the average of all of that is 90.3 degrees for the no sand uh, tray nine of the pots in the no sand tray and you look at the other side but the sand and the back pots, 91 point, I'm sorry, the front pots, closest to the plastic, most exposed, 91.16. So you can already see a 5 degree difference between those three pots across that front row. You go to the middle one, 85.3, and the most, uh, in, inside most, the middle most row, 83.8 compared to 86.8, so it's about a 3 degree difference, 2 to 3 degrees. A little over well anyhow and you average all those together and you get 86.8 compared to 90.3 so that's a solid uh three and a half degree difference between the sand and no sand on this cloudy day so yeah three and a half degrees cooler on the sand side compared to the no sand side so how big of a difference will that make with the growing? Um, who knows? I don't know for sure. We have to just wait and see. Or I don't see any downsides to the sand. The sand is all helpful. It's going to cool the surface of the pots at least a few degrees, as this just now demonstrated. And it's going to help to keep the moisture in the pots, so it's a mulch. And there's practically no downsides to mulch most of the time. All right, well, thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.